What's up guys, this is the Riverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to round off happened last time, we successfully recaptured Athens and we have also scouted some of the frontier towns at Sarajevo and we'll probably send them on to investigate Belgrade. Sarajevo is probably going to be our next military target. Um, there is an army here but I'm counting on them being entrenched to not cause me too much grief because my plan is to... Actually what I want to do is do this. So let's stop the recruitment of you. And instead, let's build some... Okay, so let's have a look at conscripts next to militia. Militia, yeah, conscripts are just better. So let's recruit three of you. Because my hope is, my plan is to use the garrison I get, a, get in um, Athens to kind of suck in any Ottoman big stacks. And then I want to use my small army to start to chip away at some of these smaller border regions. A, to open up trade, and B, to start to gain a bit more tax income. Sorry, Ava doesn't make that much money, but that's, for me, that's 936. What's that? That's like a 30% increase in my wealth per ten. Um, I think that's how I'm going to do it, because I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to try bash into them one after another. I need to be a bit more smarter than this. I need to secure a region to create a school that could be doable up here it is doable up here actually they've got a craft workshop and a Turkish bath so I can build a school and a happiness building to offset it so that might be a good idea in which case let's move Konstantinos Ili to the Turkish bath because he may as well have some fun yeah I can't research, and research anything but the Swedes took yeah the Swedes have taken Iceland can't get any more trade agreements, can I? Nope. Fortunately, no, not, not everyone hates us, so let's hit end turn. So the hope is those like Bosnia, Serbia, Bulgaria, and I'll have consolidated my gains, I have a bit more cash, and then I can start then I can hit Istanbul, and then I'll feel a bit more secure on the continent. But my biggest concern in this campaign is you guys know how much I love infantry. How key it is to my game um, but I don't know when Greece gets can recruit regular line infantry because I should be able to do it now um, but all I'm seeing in the recruitment trees are things like the guards which while they're very good they're limited and the same with the fusiliers I can get fusiliers but they are limited I've seen I can recruit African native line infantry so I may end up having to sail across the, the North Sea and capture some territories there in order to get me allow me to be able to recruit African infantry and that might end up becoming the, the staple of my Greek army, weirdly. Um with copious use of Greek units where possible. This is going to be tricky later in the game as nations start to develop things like whoa Good, stop there. Oh, the garrison's come out, but let's pull my cavalry back. Um, but yes, I think I can. I can. I can deal with having some. Um, I, can, I can deal with having the the Russians attacking my cities. What I don't know if I can deal with is the money and the infantry. That's going to be the the trickiest bit for me. It's tempting to spin my army around and engage that stack. Oh, the Prussian, the, the United Provinces are taken Amsterdam back. Heraklion. Okay, so it's really tempting to try hit them with what I've got, but it's not a lot. So instead, I'm gonna. Oh, do I... Belgrade, Belgrade is quicker, but it's shrinking. So I might take you, go take Sarajevo, and then probably group the cavalry with them. And then here, what do I want to do here? Probably want to recruit engineer. Well, depending on what happens, an engineer and two conscripts. They may not, they might not go for me, but they probably will. I probably want to move this light horse artillery into the city. So I'm counting on those garrison troops being somewhat useful. I feel confident repelling this because it's not as high quality as it was in the previous attack. Like these auto aren't that great. Let's put you into the craft workshops call you yes yeah, so you're gonna go take Sarajevo because it's open field 
Got lots of muskets. Should be a good win. And they got a meagre yield iron mine, but they've got a wealthy port and it opens up a land border with Austria. Then we can take Sarajevo, move on to Belgrade, hit Serbia, then we'll feel a lot better. And they may actually have a semi decent army being built in Athens itself. I'm not going to buy any more because I'm concerned how. Well, I don't realistically know how much recruitment they're going to get. Although, to be honest, I may as well buy some. Let's buy a Royal Phalanx. Two Royal Phalanx. Cool. I miss this habit, research and tech. Not oh, Bavaria's been destroyed. Who got Bavaria? Prussia did. Oh, yeesh. Kidoki, that's here. Make sure I've not lost anything else. Okay. Let's. Do you always send my navy out, my, my one sloop out to go pillage this trade zone for a bit more cash? Doesn't give me that much. 2800 I'm on. End turn. Key, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much, it's pretty much guaranteed that Ottoman stack is going to go hit Athens. And the thing is, they may lay siege to it, so I may have to do what he did again and sally out somewhat. Um, which could be to my advantage if I deploy outside the walls. The trouble is that they can be sneaky and try and run around and try and actually um, assault the city. We just need to be careful about how we approach it because Athens is my... If I lose Athens, then I kind of lose the game. Um, there's not really a way I could... Well, I could come back from it, but it would be a bit of a grind. So what I really need to do is to push this... <gasps> Another big army. Oh, okay, so they are attacking me, which is good. We didn't get much good stuff. Lots of garrison mortars, though, which is handy. Okay, so let's prepare to defend Athens. Cut this. Oh, God, these battles, they, they, they mean a lot. They mean no problem can stand the assault of sustained thinking. enemy will try to smash their way in with siege equipment. Use your heaviest troops to defend any breach and... So we've got a breach. Deploy these guns. They can just blast the breach with how it's shot. It's unfortunate we've not got enough infantry to do what we want to do. Let's probably put a conscript here. Except we will lose the front gate. We will lose this section of the wall. But I at least want guys here to pour fire into people trying to flank. But I think it's going to become this sort of fight. A real messy scrap. Just trying to pour on fire. And ultimately having guys you there ready to deal with any charges that might come up you'll probably be rubbish but as we've got you may as well use you tempting to put you here you will get trapped but you will just continuously shoot at everything you can so that might be of use to us got our mortars which we're going to set up here another unit of pike arm citizenry so you're pretty much going to sit here Pike um, citizenry, which you're probably just going to sit here. And one last unit of conscripts, and you're going to take this building. So let's get you firing canister and just keep hitting. Okay, so where are their artillery aiming at? Are they aiming at this? Yes, they are. So they're going to make a hole in this wall, which will not be ideal. I want as many of them as possible to try to come through the centre. Good, my garrison mortars have opened up. But, as we saw when they're firing for me, they're useless. But when they're against me, they're brilliant. Ooh, 
No, they're not doing. Well, they're not doing not doing very terribly great, but they're not doing very bad either. Okay. So yeah, so these guys they're not going to do much good, but they will get some kills at least. Janus Street Grenadiers, it's these sorts of flanking manoeuvres that I, is why I really want to cover these flanks. Same with them. They're going to hit the Bashi Bazooks. They're enough to deal with them. Okay, so you hold fire. Blast off the canister. Pound this gap. With a push off the Apache Kazoo for the unit of water that are coming around. The Janissaries are retreating. They'll, they'll come back. Hopefully, this water we can make routes. Fire. Turn off fire at will, turn on fire at will, redeploy, shoulder your weapons, and engage. Good. So I've got my eye on you. I can't put these guys up on the wall, which is unfortunate. We don't want to move the armed citizenry because they are. Bashi Bazooks, when they come back, are going to get pounded. Oh, an auto has gone. Shadow series have routed. Good. These guys are routing and they're dying in huge numbers. Get back in formation. Good, they're broken again. These guys have probably actually done some... Probably done alright, actually. Firewall off, firewall on, because you're all not fighting properly. They want to capture the gate, which is good. Sort of. They're Genissaries, so... Hey you guys, you need to you need to capture your section of the wall back. Bash of Bazooks coming back. This water's staying quite confidently still. So this unit, I'm gonna lose this section of the wall soon, which is fine. Bash of Bazooks are routing. Come on then. To be honest, I'm happy to do this because my guys are probably going to fight to the death. So got no, they'll have, soon have nowhere to route. Jump on him. I'm melting already. Redeploy you to go here and engage that unit in a better position. Oh, yes. The morale of the mortars, man. That must be what it is. Like, you're not going to. I'm not going to move you yet, because. Ah, they're coming back. Turn fire will off. Turn fire will back on. Come on, man, the war properly. There's stuff like this that can lose you lose you battles because you look and suddenly before you know it, the guys that you've got protecting the war just aren't doing their job. Come on, they're just water. Hit my hit my artillery crew. Is 
Arsenal says the unit's not doing so good because he probably because he's stuck there. No, stay here. Oh no, they're not actually going to engage you. Okay, turn fireball on, turn fireball on. We're the Bashi Bazooks coming back. Almost. If that happens, then I'm probably going to point my arm to see if it's going to be See, it's super frustrating whether or not. Probably because of him. No, no, he's dead. Go for him. More the Grenadiers. Grenadiers are going to win the battle eventually, so I might pull. Let's get you guys to. We'll not run down there. Keep running up. Kill the Janissaries, the Autos aren't that great. Fire will. Oh, they've managed to kill my general because of my artillery. Go on, fight the bunch of bazooks because they're all. Yeah, why not? Just run out. May as well. So one autumn's coming back. Okay, you're supposed to get over here. Cavalry. Probably stop firing. Charge your weapons. Hopefully, they fight up on the wall, not down in the map. Horses should be. Find this. Cavalry should be okay because they're in the bottom neck right now against a load of guys with pikes. Oh no, you turn fireball on. You just stay where you are. The more they fire up into here, the more they'll kill their own guys. Loops. 
See, these, these, this arm says, and you can put it with me. The cavalry routing as well. Oh, these arm says, and they are okay. These guys back in, back inside. And let's turn them fight right back on because they will have a good. They've got to fire safely into the flank. Don't wait for him. Go after him. One guy left, manning his cannon. Oh, fair enough. We don't want to engage him. Turn fire off. So they have one unit of pikes. So the question is, do I advance out oh, these two units of conscripts to go do anything or do I just see what happens because they've attacked me let's let what happens happens first okay hold on let's let's take my arm citizen in get you out of the way same with you let's get to a round shot and just try Play back at them if they can. Yeah, they're gonna try. Fair enough. What the Delhi horsemen are here. Yeah, they're gonna about to, they're about to be engaged by everywhere. These guys. Infantry. Ah, oh, you might be okay. It's very easy to shoot into combat that contains horses. Terrible mortars. I don't know why these guys can't do that. Shaken, shaken and exhausted, that's what we want to see. Shaken and wavering, and they've routed. Lovely, so what have we got back here? Foot artillery. Trying to have a pop. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the battle here, then bring you guys back at the end because I suspect nothing else is going to happen. So, see you in a sec, guys. Right, you guys, and I'm back. And I decided, you know what, let's just go engage them. And it was a Pyrrhic victory, apparently. However, um, we have pretty, pretty depleted at the minute. 
in terms of defenses, so that means that our... God, that was a lot of deaths there. Farlacom citizenry, though, did the job. Let's push that army back. We still have that army chasing us down, so we need to... I'm tempted to try rescue them with my navy. Well, my sloop. Because um, I was... Or I could just... If I can... Hmm. Hmm. What if I can ship them to somewhere useful? But yes, my main concern is... I don't know what that army's got, actually, in them. So I might actually have another look. So you... you got a couple of water, some pretty naff musketeers. It's tempting to actually just... In, to, to, to fight you, actually, I think. But if I move... Okay, so I could pick, get myself picked up by the Navy, but I don't know if I want to. So let's replenish these chaps. Let's get a unit of guards and get another unit of conscripts. It's going to be quite an interesting little garrison there, actually. Westphalia's been destroyed. Poland Lithuania's been destroyed. Because they've been pushed back, but not for long. Gordon. Sarajevo isn't. Okay, let's edge a bit closer to have a look at Sarajevo. So probably going to want to do Let's pick this little hill. Because the risk is they try and engage me, but they might not actually be able to catch up. So I might be able to get a turn out of them. So let's try that. So it is, if I can get there, capture it in a turn, then I might be able to get a bit of replenishment off before this goes badly wrong. Um, let's end turn. Got my gentleman's in position. Ultimately, I may end up engaging that stack earlier than I thought. Um, but that's not so bad, because my my main goal is to protect uh, Athens, which we're slowly, put on each turn, building up a better garrison. So eventually, I'll be able to actually send them out and engage in the field and push the Ottomans back. Ultimately, guys, lots of fighting in Greece, and I don't think it's... That surprising that I'm on the back foot. <laughs> Certainly for this long, at least. Guess you managed to defend. Oh, no. Good, they're falling. Oh, that is... Oh, they... Okay. So they've detached some of their troops, which is a really interesting observation. So they could be sending them back to go rebuild a another force to attack Athens, but that's fine. Every turn... Um, my garrison gets stronger, sort of, apart from all the destroyed walls. Somewhere here, it's got an upgrade there. See, they're chasing me down. So I want to do, ideally I want to do this. Then hit Bosnia. The reason I want to hit here is because I wanted to just, just in case they, they well, ultimately I like to have my, my, not have my back against an enemy like that. But before we do that, let's check what we can do. Great arsenal. That may get me how it says. It does get me how it says. Well, the two else I can do with so much stuff at the minute. That's why I may end up getting this, because at least it will get me a bit more tax income, which is what I need. Oh, God, yeah, my garrison is going down to nothing. Or my, my value is going down to nothing. The ministers. Oh, good. Some good ones. Honest Jughead. Okay, let's get you over to Treasury. Oh, he loves it. And let's get you. Bon vivant. Harsh reputation. Status quo. Industrial revolutionary. Plus one Treasury. But I like the guy I've got at the Treasury at the minute. So I want to put you at the head. Because that'll gain me increased town wealth, diplomatic religions and prestige. And you. Anag Anagnotsis Cominos. Minus one. Minus two to treasury. Morally impaired. Harsh reputation. Okay. But well, I should be able to get you to the... Well, I drop you in the army. Oh, you're still the same. 
you don't you guys don't really do anything but that's not bad not bad at all so diplomacy trading with russia is out where's russia so you're very friendly but i can't trade with them because pretty much it's too far away so i think i may have to cancel trade agreement sorry russia yeah they do dislike me for that but it does mean i can pick someone a bit closer so i probably want to pick someone like genoa spain some way persia persia is usually quite good but again they're far away portugal what about portugal Okay, before we get too picky, let's just try and trade with someone. So Great Britain's usually a good option. They don't like me, because we've got a different government type. Good. Because then at least... Uh, still not... Oh, God. Trade. Britain's being blockaded. I really should have looked. But the Brits should be able to fight this off. Nation destroyed Württemberg. Greece has got some good troops. War declared between Sweden and Prussia. War declared between Austria and Quebec. Okay, fun. Um, God, United Provinces is on a bit of a push. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to want to take Sarajevo. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault on Sarajevo and our first expansion of this Greek campaign. Thank you.